This little uh, screencast is going to show you how to put an image map inside Weebly. An image map is just like a menu that drives people around, that gives people to be able to go around your websites. Uh, instead of using words and things like that or pull down menus, you're actually just looking using images or part of an image to link there. So you've actually got to be able to tell the computer um, where, uh, when you click on a certain area, where to go to. Um, you can use uh, Fireworks and Dreamweaver in um, uh, in Adobe Suite, but that, then you get a little bit of coding to be able to get it to work under Weebly, so this is a good little workaround. So set up your page like this, with a home, um, an image map, that's the place where all your, you're going to be driven from, yeah, and I've got two pages in my website, you'd have a lot more, um, and that's where I'm going to put my image to start with. So let's go to edit that page, and we've got to drop into here a picture. So I've just grabbed this icon here, dropped it in here, and I'll grab a picture from my computer. This is one I've made before, and I know that it uh, is about 500 by 500 pixels, which is about right, and it's fairly low res. Anything bigger than 500 by 500 tends to blow off the page a little bit. You can see here that I could go a little bit wider, um, but it's not too bad to be just, just go by 500 by 500. It works quite nicely. Then what we want to do is we want to go right mouse click on the image and go copy image URL. So now this is telling uh, us where that actually lives on the web. Then go to Image Mapper, which is an online tool that uh, allows you to do image mapping. So you've got two choices. You can either load a picture from your PC or from a URL. You've got to go from the URL. So I go Paste, and it puts in where my image comes from. And you just click on Start Mapping Your Image. It takes a couple of minutes, to get, a couple of seconds to go through because I think it wants you to follow it on um, Twitter. But anyway, um, the deal is, uh, after this 10 seconds, you'll be able to actually edit your page. Um, and before you do this, it's probably really good to actually have um, all your uh, URLs for the other pages uh, listed off. So what I tend to do is build the whole site first and do the image map right at the end, um, so I know where everything's going to go. So I've already put that into a, onto a, um, into a, a Word document, so I know where I'm going to go, where my pages are in the URLs, and I'll show you that in a tick. We've got um, a couple of bits here. It's got a base URL, which says um, it's going to go back to image maps, but don't put that in there. And I don't show text leaks either, but you can if you want, so it's pretty cool. So now what we're going to do is go to rectangle, and see how it brings up a rectangle. You can bring it over any part of the image, and that'll be the bit that then links. So when your cursor goes over that, that'll link off. So I'll grab the little gate, and here I'm going to put in the link. Now, as I said before, I've already got um, my pages sorted out. So this is the URL of the first page. So I'm just going to copy that. And then I'll go back to Image Mapper and just plop it in there. So once again, if, you've got, if you're prepared beforehand, what it does is it means that you know where everything's going to go. So it's a lot easier to plan rather than trying to making it up as you go along. So when I click on that, that's now going to go to that area. So the last one is I'll put another one in there because I've got two pages. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to go to my little man um, and stretch it down like that. You can do different shapes by using the other tool, but this is not too bad. Once again, I'm going to go back and grab page two because I know where that is, that's over here. So I'll grab that URL there, and then come back and stick it in there. To get the URLs, you've actually got to publish your site. Okay, then you go save, and we're all groovy. Now, that's all I've got, I've only got two links in there. Now over here it says, get your code. If you click on that, what happens is it will then generate to you a whole lot of code. You can have all these other ones up here. I want HTML. So this one here now tells me all the HTML coding that makes that image work. So you can just grab it all and copy it and then come back to Weebly. So now that's sitting, you've copied that. So if we come back to pages, I'm now going to go to where I want my image map to be and I'll go edit page and see I've got this custom HTML. I'm going to drop that into here and it'll take a couple of seconds to load up. But when it's there, it says click to set your custom hotel, so I'm just going to go control V, and that puts all that HTML code there. And if I click off of this, you'll see what happens is it'll bring up the image again. But you'll see that my cursor now turns into a finger on that part, and on that part, and that'll take me to those other pages. So that's pretty cool, I like that. So I'm going to go, um, I'm going to go publish, no actually no, I'm not I'm going to go back to pages, because at the moment all the other pages will come up here, and I don't want anyone to see that. So if I just go back to pages, this one here, I'm going to come down and go hide page. Oh, no, no, that's not probably not the good one to have. You want them to see that one? I don't want them to see that one. I don't want them to see that one. 
and I don't want them to see that one. Cool. That's all good. Save settings. That's all nice. There we go. So we've got the image map, which is the first one, um, which is hanging down here. So this is pretty cool. This is what I like. I can now go to that. That looks like a good thing to me. Um, I'm now going to go publish. That site will now become live. And when you load up to that first page, fantastic. In a sec, if I go to my image map, you'll see that there's that there. I'm going to click on there, and that'll take me to my first page where there's nothing in that page. But see how it closed that page? It's very cool. And then go back to the image map. If I wanted to go to this, my second page, click on that one, see how the cursor changes to a finger, and away you go. Um, so that's how you do it. That's the, the easiest way to do it. What I normally do in my image maps, if you have a look at this one, I've always got um, an information page, which will take me back to um, right at the beginning, or even even put a home logo, and that home logo will then take you back to the beginning. Um, I've tended to try to get rid of all these um, menus from here, but it's up to you how you do it. But that's the easiest way that I've found to um, do an image map using Weebly, and then using Image Mapper.